Hey, YouTubers. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't have it anymore. Okay. Why does it feel like it's the first video we've ever made? Did you turn the air off so we can make this? Yeah. Are you hot? Yep. Extremely. We're back. It's very hot. It's 76 and the air is off. Not just on a low temperature, it is off. <laughs> it's the lights. We have lights. It's good for the plants. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking. Have they? No one asked. Okay, just double checking. I thought maybe someone asked you. <laughs> Did someone no one ask asked me what? anything. <laughs> no, no message, no DM. No nothing, <clears throat> but y'all have been asking. No comment, nothing. All right, so no one's been asking, but <laughs> We were thinking it'd be cool to show everyone here on the tubes. Is that what they call it? I call them tubulars. We were thinking that it'd be cool to show you tubulars. <laughs> we're feeling moody. We're feeling moody, folks. So we got this mood board. Could you explain a, a mood board for those of us who don't know, Jen? It's basically just like a board that you set a mood with. Cut. Okay, well like say you're building a house or something, you create a mood board, like, I like this scheme for the kitchen, and I like this for the bathroom. Got you. It's basically a compilation of things that we're listening to right now, things that we've stumbled upon, recently purchased, music we're listening to, all of those things in one vlog. It's gonna be a hoot. Hoot! Hoot. Should I cut the hoot? Hoot! I guess not, if now we got two takes. First, technology. Fun fact, whenever me and Jen are not working and we're supposed to be working, we pretend that we're typing vigorously on the, we're like, yes. So I'd be like, hey Jen, how's uh, the thumbnail for the video coming? Really good. When we first were vlogging, we got this camera from Best Buy. It is a Canon M50, and it's just the kit lens. We got a Rode microphone for it. And then maybe a week after that, we upgraded to the camera that we're recording on right now, which is the Canon EOS R. And I did a lot of research, and I really like the colors. And so this camera is our main camera, whereas this one is like our B camera. So not also tech-wise, I got a MIDI controller. This bad boy right chill. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is. It is pretty. I like it. I'm in a band, like we said, for our very first video, and I want to get back into doing more production stuff. So, the MIDI controller that I used to use is a full 61 key situation, and it's just huge. Oh, thank you. It's just huge and it gets in the way. So I got a smaller situation so that I can make beats at the table. Jen, tell them your tech stuff okay so i got an app this week called solitaire cube and you're supposed to like make money on this app which we're not really gamblers anyways but i got this app thinking like oh cool we can make a little extra money the stakes are like 49 cents they're very not high but you have to deposit 30 dollars. so i did and i lost it all within 12 hours all right so that's technology moving on to music last week Maybe the week before that, Chance the Rapper, who's one of my favorite artists, put out a album for the first time. I think this is his first studio album called The Big Day. And I think I'm four songs in. I like to take my time. We'll put the link for that in the description below. Music okay. wise, oh, for you. It's so hot in here. Listening, come on, God, we just gotta we just gotta go. We just gotta go. I can't think straight for real when I get sweaty like this. Jen, we can't have the air conditioning okay, it's on. It's fine, it's fine. Okay? Air's like <laughs> don't need that. Jen, talk to us. What are you listening to? I've been listening to the Rise podcast. It's from Rachel Hollis and Stop Procrastinating is a really, really good one that you should listen to. It's very, what's the word? Butt kicky? Kicks you in the butt? Yes, it's very butt kicky and hits home. So listen to it. Link below. Also, if there are any podcasts that you listen to that you like, could you let us know? via yes. the comments or on Instagram, that would be great. Also, should we do a podcast? Say yes, I've been trying to convince Jen for like three weeks now. Do it in the comments. Here's the thing, tubulars. 
Why is that becoming a thing? I it's don't know. Not. It's not okay. a thing. Here's the thing with podcasts for me. I have mixed emotions on the podcast because I have a very monotone speaking voice. If it's just Nate and I, I have a very like cutesy, fun, playful voice. It's true. Because that's how I feel in my heart towards him. But Thank if you. I'm just speaking, it's kind of monotone and not that interesting. So hearing it back on a podcast is very jarring. <laughs> <laughs> just a matter of fact, hearing my voice back recorded makes me want to throw up and give up on life. Okay, all jokes aside, sometimes she does sound angry by default. Right. So I have to ask, is there something wrong? She's like, no, it's my voice. True story. It's okay. I think her voice sounds great. Her speaking voice, her... Voice. But I think that we should, it'd be fun. I think it'd be quicker content from us if we were to podcast, so convince Jen. Blow up her social meets. Okay, watching. Recently, we just finished the show Barry, which is on HBO, and it's about this guy who, well, I don't want to ruin it, but it's long story show. short, yes, it is a good show. Also, Big Little Lies, also on HBO, another good show. Excellent show. Very good show. We didn't watch it for a while because it sounds like it's going to be like Vampire Diaries or like High School Girly. It really does. Yeah. But it's not at all. I feel like there's no way to describe it without ruining... Right, you just can't. The first episode, so. Those two are great. If you don't have HBO, because technically we don't have HBO, we're using someone's password. Is that incriminating? Probably, we probably shouldn't say that Yeah, life. we'll cut that out. So on Netflix, we're also using someone's password for, cut that. Yeah, but we just talked about it a couple. Movie-wise on Netflix, we just watched Always Be My Maybe, which was fun. It's very cute, and we both cried twice. Yes. It's a really, really cute movie. Another movie that we cried twice on was Dumplin'. Dumplin'. It's a very sweet movie. Everybody is a body. That's what she said. I think that about wraps it up for watching of things. If there's things that you think we would like, put those in the comments below, because we'd love to watch some new shows. Mm -hmm. I think that rhymed. Next. What we're reading. <laughs> I be reading books. Hey. All I need is books. Hey. Chilling with some books. Give me books. Yeah. I be reading books. Hey. All I need is books. Hey. Chilling with some books. Give me books. Yeah. Open a book and I'm reading it quick. Finish a novel like Lickety Split. Video games been making me sick. Rather watch words than watching a flick. It don't mean a thing. Trying to curl up with Stephen King, Lord of the Rings, Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, Harry Potter, shoot anything. So what I'm reading is a book called Pendragon. I'm on the third book called The Never War. If you haven't heard of Pendragon, it's probably because you're an adult. And this book is for children. I started reading the series when I was like 14 and I never finished the series. I got to the last book and then I didn't finish reading it. So I'm going back, I'm reading all the books and that leads us to my lovely wife. I'm reading Harry Potter, <laughs> the sixth one. I don't even know if they can see that. I don't think they can. Anyway, just trust me. Ooh, is it the ninth? No, sixth one. <sighs> you have to admit that is very confusing. That's fair. The Half-Blood Prince. I'm three quarters the way through it, and I started reading Harry Potter at the beginning of this year because I wasn't allowed to read it as a child. My parents thought witchcraft and wizardry were not the move, and so I just started reading them as an adult, and I really like them. They're really good. Plus, now I know Hermione's personality, and I never knew it before. More alike than I thought. What happened? You dropped Harry Potter on your laptop. That might have been the Lord saying, no, read this witchcraft no more. Dang, my parents were right. The reading scenario goes like this. Go and... Go and buy it. <laughs> Sometimes the Texas accent just hits me like I've been here my whole life. This is what we do when we go to bed. End of the night, we read to unwind, get into bed. Jen busts out Harry Potter. I'm reading mine on an iPad. We read until we get tired and then we go to sleep, which is cool. So we drink tea. Yes, we drink extra sleepy time tea. <laughs> Nate boils the water every night. It is the most precious thing in the whole world. And then when I get done washing my face, usually the cup of tea is sitting there ready for me on the nightstand. Uh, it's really cute. The thing about uh, marriage is the <laughs> give does. and take. I give, Jen gives, and we mutually take. Okay, that's for a different video on a different time. Also, we were considering doing like a night routine 
video. If you'd like to see that, holla. Now that I have been asked for. Who's asking you to see what you're doing at night? Katie. Oh, okay, she's a lady. Hi, Katie. I'd be about that. Yeah. If some dude was like, yeah, girl, what you doing at night? I wouldn't want to make that video. I would fight. Y'all anyway. saw on that last, on that husband tag. Link over here. Jen's down to fight anyone. I appreciate it. Usually it's not necessary. I actually got mad. Just now? Thinking about some some of you like, boy, what you wear at night? Anyway. I'll give you this sleepy time tea. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is that? It's oh. so hot. Okay, we just gotta get through it. We okay, just gotta, okay. What's the temperature at now? 78. We're good. Everything's fine. If you want to see that type of video, please let us know. We'd be happy to make it. Yeah? Yeah. Moving into food. What have we been My eating? favorite topic. What have we been eating recently? Well, we make a lot of salmon. We make it every single week. It's always on the grocery list. We always buy it, we always make it. Tonight, salmon night. This is true. With white jasmine rice with lemon and cilantro. Mmm. I'm about it. We like salmon. Every time we have salmon, it goes swimmingly. We also made tacos this last week, which we had totally forgotten were a thing, mm -hmm. essentially. We haven't made them since we lived in Maryland and they did not disappoint. They were delicious. Beef tacos are simple. It's a shell, it's beef, it's cheese, maybe a little salsa on top. Mm -hmm. Should we link the salsa recipe? Sure. We'll link the salsa recipe. It's good. My favorite salsa. Also, I discovered this week, we are both, lactose intolerant is strong, but like dairy intolerant is pretty fair. Yes. Because that literally means the same thing. It does. Um, we're both lactose intolerant, so we have to be careful with the dairy intake. And I found a really good sour cream. Nate hates sour cream, but it's a really good sour cream alternative by Tofuti. Tofiti. Link it below. We'll link it below. We'll Don't link know that the name. Yeah. It's very good. What have you had most recently that was new to you? Most recently, I had pho for the first time. <laughs> first. That was a stretch. That was a reach. I had pho for the first time and it was delicious. I had no idea. I had no idea. I had been missing out this whole time. Right after that, we went to the Asian market and we got some Pocky sticks and some Korean wine. And boba tea. And boba tea, which was great. So I would challenge you to go try some food that you normally wouldn't eat or some food that you've never had before. Like Indian food, curries are delicious. They are. Next we have fashion style type of whatever. This isn't my strong suit, but Jen is definitely the fashionista. You're fashionable. Thank you. What have you gotten recently, fashionista? So I've been trying not to spend money for a while. We've been trying to very aggressively pay off debt. If you haven't seen our debt-free story, it's in my Instagram, go find it. So I have not been buying much of anything. And because that's the case, I've been saving for things that I really, really, really want. And for Christmas last year and my birthday the year before, Nate gave me vouchers to get these shoes. Never find the pair that I liked because they come in lots of different colors. Yeah. They are pricey. And so I really wanted to invest in a pair that I love. And I finally purchased them. And here they are in all their glory. They're called Golden Goose. They are irrationally expensive. They are. But I wear a lot of tennis shoes and I have worn them almost every day since I got them. That's true. So they've already been worth the investment and I'll have them for years to come because they're genuine leather and really well made. And so you don't have to invest in all these multiple pairs of tennis shoes when you just have one really good pair of tennis shoes. For my birthday, I got this shirt from Free People. It's like a little distressed on the shoulders. Okay. Okay, yeah, a little sultry. Okay, oh. Yeah, it's cute, I like it. And I wanted it for a while as well, so I got that for my birthday. Oh, those little earrings. I can talk about them, because it's interesting. Okay, yeah. Okay, pause it, I'll go get it. You stepped on my toe twice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not meaning to laugh, I just laugh when people get hurt. <laughs> It's terrible. Sorry. The thing is, you're, you're just stepping on one toe. It's not like my whole foot. And it's not even like a toe that's like, It's makes the toe sense. that's hardly there already. No. Boy, you, you sing more songs about that pinky toe in this house. My pinky toenail is freakishly small. <laughs> what was the song you were singing just two days ago? <laughs> I say, shout out to my pinky toenail. That joint's as small as it wants to be. <laughs> Have you seen it so up funny. close? Now I have. Okay, okay, so I got these earrings. The cool thing about them is that I got them from Amazon, but 
Have y'all heard of the Bobble Bar? I'm sure that you have. They sell a lot of jewelry. They sell these on there for $39 and they're on Amazon. It's the exact same vendor because what they do is they buy jewelry and they resell it. Nothing new, they didn't design this stuff. It's on Amazon, they're $12.99. I'll link them below. They're little huggy earrings and they're really precious. I like them a lot. Okay. Saving tip. And that was my gift to Jen for her birthday because I knew she was um, uh, looking for them. Well, you said order yourself some stuff on Amazon for your birthday. Okay, next <laughs> are some new shoes. The reason I got these shoes because my friend Cam is getting married next weekend, which is great. This is part of the attire, so shout out to you, Cam. Thank you for being the catalyst for these new shoes. Can't wait to see you as a husband, bruh. That's sweet. Thank you. Hello? Am I supposed to be the voice on the other side of that shoe? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello? Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is Nate. <laughs> and I heard there's a girl named Genevieve who was, uh, <laughs> she was kind of fat. <laughs> P-H-A-T? Yeah. You know the one. Is this her? This is her, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. all right. Next category. <laughs> As you guys know, we've been releasing videos on YouTube every week, sometimes a few days in between. Some weeks, we don't. It's a platform that we love and we wanted to contribute to. So, while on Instagram, I saw this guy named Cody. He was going live on Instagram because he was going live on YouTube. And speaking of Cody, it's kind of started this movement of no small creators. For those of us who make things, no matter how big our platform is, what we're doing matters. Creating something from nothing, something that wasn't and now is, I took it out of my head and put it out into the world, it now exists, there is nothing small about that. Link his channel below as well. And in the chat, um, Leela was one of the people that he said that he's really been liking stuff that she's done. I said, I'm gonna check her channel out. She subscribed. To me, I subscribed to her, I checked out her stuff, and she's good. My name is Lila, I am 25 years old, and I live in the, we're good, okay. She's really good, so the link for her channel is below. Hi Lila, it's nice to see you on the tube. Hopefully we can collab soon, all of that stuff. Also, there's some things from her uh, channel that I hope to steal, like the little text that she has pop up. Are you all right? Doing good? Good. Oh, nice, enjoy. Like little texty jokes, <laughs> which is funny, so I like that. The people that I've been following on YouTube and really enjoying are Karen Britchick. She's, I guess, from Britain, and she has a really cool accent. She goes to vintage stores and tries on her clothes, and it's amazing. In the same vein is Hella Jam. She is a great YouTuber. I really like her channel, and I really like her Instagram, so definitely check both of them out. Speaking of thrifting, the thought was to make a video maybe of us going to a thrift store, maybe picking out some clothes for each other, go on a date night type thing. So if you'd like to see a video like that, comment below. I think it would be fun to share like as I rebuild my closet and y'all yes. help me pick out like what should I get? What's worth the money? What's not worth the money? That would be cool. So maybe I'll just share more of that on Instagram. Yes. The links for our Instagrams by the way are below. So if you're watching this and don't follow us, do that. One other YouTube channel that I like and is worth mentioning is Katie Steckley. She has a great YouTube channel for creators, like Nate said. She's very down to earth. Her Instagram is very open and honest. She just creates this really cool atmosphere for her following and she has a great YouTube channel that's very insightful with tutorials, Instagram hacks, YouTube tricks. She's just a really solid YouTuber and I really enjoy following her. And that about wraps up this video. Those are all the things that we're listening to. Eating, smelling, touching. Watching. Watching. Are all, those the senses? Those okay. are all the things. Those are all the things. Before we go, we'd like to shout some folks out that left some very kind comments last week. The first of which is Kate. Kate says, this was so much fun to watch. The respect you two have for each other is really wonderful. You two have something special. Thank you, Kate. That's very sweet. Extremely sweet. Just so you know, like the notifications for these things pop up on our phones. So like we were laying in bed and this popped up and I was like, That's so kind. Thank you. We can rest well. We can, we can go to sleep now. And the second shout out is to Monica Chris Ahn. Uh, Chris is a friend of mine. Chris says, I hate you for the English accent bit. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, man. Kimberly hates me too for my British accent. So. And that is it. 
Yes. So if you enjoyed this video, like it below, comment on it, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to push that bell notification Ding. to get notified every single week. Yes. And with that, we are out. Out. You almost forgot to do it, didn't you? Yeah. It's, it's okay. been so long. I know.